hi lovelies you're welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how i made this hand fan yes that was me on my traditional wedding day i made my own hand fan and you too can make it if you want so stay with me let me show you how i made this beautiful and amazing hand fan so these are the items that i used to make this hand fan so first you need um you need a trimming you also need a glue gun and the candle i got this material from my george leftover from my george that's a doll face and lastly you need feathers you also need um scissors you need a hand fan you know something that you can use as the base for the fan so you can see i'm not using scissors here because the scissors i bought unfortunately was not uh sharp enough so i had to use a razor you know whatever works so if you observe very well why i was cutting this i gave enough space away from the edge of the hand fan okay and this second one i am cutting down it's very close to the edge of my hand fan so it's kind of big and small you're going to see along the line why i had to cut it that way so let's keep watching this is a small one so I first placed it on, on the hand fan and I'm going to glue it to this hand fan. So I had to plug my glue gun and I put my candle in it and I started to gum it together. So what happens with this when you plug um, the, the, the gun, the glue gun to the socket and you put the candle inside it, the heat from the um, the electric heat makes the candle to melt and whatever comes out the candle the melting of the candle helps to you know gum the clothes with the fan so that's how it works and it's usually hot so as you are doing this you have to be very careful not to you know hurt yourself So you can see I am done with the first uh, covering now it's time to cover the other side of the hand fan so I'm using the bigger um, the bigger uh, material the bigger doll face so I'm going to use it to cover both the edge of the first one that I covered so you won't see uh, the edges the rough edges so you're going to use this one to cover it just watch and see how I did it So it's all covered up right now. So now it's time to place your your feathers. So these feathers are going to cover these rough places that you you are seeing here. So you use these feathers to you know to cover it.
so here i'm done i'm done with the first uh first side of the fan so i have to also place my feathers on the other side so you have to do whatever you do on both sides so that they will have the same volume and also the same length so that you know they will you know it will look nice So now I am done covering the both sides with our feathers. It's time to put our trimmings. So this particular one, I, I like I said before, I cut it out from the leftover from my George. Okay, I took it from my tailor and I decided to give it a little, you know, you know, to make it look familiar, uh, twinning with my, you know, with my George. <laughs> so I placed it and can see how beautiful it's looking it looks so cute so i will also have to cover the other side of the fan with another trimming that i bought in the market so this one is a bit tricky <laughs> so i had to i had to cut the trimmings in pc so that i'll be able to you know get the the shape according to the way the way it is you know you can see that it's not the same shape with the other one so i had to cut the the trimmings in pieces so that i can get the right shape for it I am done with uh, placing my trimmings it's time to wrap the handle of the fan so that you know it, they will all look uh, beautiful I also left you see that place where you can hang it I left a little space there so that when I'm done with the occasion I can still hang my you know hang fan okay so yeah So I am done, I am done covering the, the handle and I looked at this part of the fan and I'm like okay let me cut out something from the George and add it to it and see how it looks. So I decided to put this at the middle of the fan and you can see how cute it looks. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so I loved it when I placed it I loved it. So now this was a different day and a different location. Here I have, I now have a scissors. <laughs> so I had to trim the edges of the hand fan so that they will be equal. 
I wanted a simple hand fan and I'm very happy I was able to do this. Tell me what you think about my hand fan in the comment section. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos and I will see you in my next one.